And all God's people say, Amen. <laughs> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the 21st chapter. Jesus says, Miraculous signs will occur in the sun, moon, and stars. The nations of the earth will be deeply troubled and confused because of the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint as they fearfully wait for what will happen to the world. Indeed, the powers of the universe will be shaken. Then, people will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to happen, stand with confidence. The time when you will be set free is near. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. It is Christ the King Sunday. And this is a big thrill. I don't think I have ever led worship when a jazz band has been present. I think I could have ran through a wall after I sang that entrance hymn. Uh, encouraging us and engaging us in what it means to be called out of our sinful nature and to be crowned uh, to be a saint, a son or a daughter, a prince or princess in an incredible kingdom. Christ is king, and he is king indeed. I share this morning in the way of a brief message before we come to this table, and a brief word about the table before I do that. Uh, communion today is not ushered, uh, but you're welcome to come down the center aisle. Uh, I'll be in the middle with the bread, and, and there is the normal wafers. There's also gluten-free wafers. If you need a gluten-free wafer, indicate, uh, just do so uh, by telling me right here, and I'll, and I'll reach behind and grab one. There will be two cups on both sides. You're invited uh, to practice intinction, and what intinction means is you can take your wafer and dip it in the wine and have communion that way. Or you can take the cup. If you do take the cup, I invite you to take the cup from those who, who have the cups. Uh, it's, it's difficult for them to give you uh, wine uh, just if, if you are not holiness. So please take the cup and take a sip of the wine. If you feel led and you want to approach the altar for a moment of prayer and cross and reflect on this awesome entrance song and what it means for us in our daily living, I invite you to do so. If you want to make your way back to your uh, your chair and pray there, that's, that's wonderful as well. Christ the King Sunday, and the King has extended his mercy and his grace to death row inmates and beggars such as me and such as you. And there's a celebration in my parish ministry. I've had the chance to pick up three people on different occasions, all of them from South Minneapolis, from prison, and take them home. And it's a wonderful experience. It's quite honestly beyond my imagination. I hope I never have that experience myself. But this freedom of being sprung and restored and the graces of the chains relief and the chains released for freedom... And so I read uh, brief, brief words. If Christ is king, then who am I? If Christ is king, then who are you? What uh, on this Christ the king day is your status? If Christ is king, am I a beggar? Am I a foreigner? If Christ is king and king of the kingdom, am I, as scripture says, a prisoner? If Christ is king, then I'm something, but what is it? If Christ is king, then you're something, but what is it? If Christ is king, and Christ is king, then justice will come to all people in God's time and in God's way. If Christ is king, I can hang in there, even in the state I'm in, because with the promises of the king, with the promises of the King, I can wait. Because then I too, if I'm a beggar or a prisoner or a foreigner, 
I have promise. If Christ is king, am I a beggar? I show all the signs of being a beggar. I can't control the weather. I can't control others. I can't control the cancer that comes to a friend or the tragedy that colors the news. If Christ is king, am I a foreigner? I show all the signs of being a foreigner. The king's ways are so foreign to mine. His justice is different. His compassion is different. His love is totally different for the most part. I have nothing in common with the king. If Christ is king, am I a prisoner? I show all the signs of being a prisoner. Limits define me. My health, my energy, my hairline, my intellectual ability, my temper, my measly two cents. I'm locked up in thousands of ways. Yet this word comes this day to this people. Christ is risen, and he is risen indeed. Hallelujah. And Christ is king. He is king indeed. Hallelujah. And there is no if in Christ the King Sunday. God's word declares it, and creation itself declares it. And Christ is king. And if we believe that Christ has claimed us as his own, as his word says, then I am part of that kingdom. I have been extended a place at his table. The king has laid his life down for a measly beggar and a miserable foreigner and a very lonely prisoner. Christ has changed my status, and Christ has changed your status. His love has made me, and his love makes you the king has died so that I, in my beggarness and my foreignness and my prisonerness, those realities might be crushed by the declaration of an almighty king who is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. It is God's gift and it is mine. It is God's gift and it is yours. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ is king. He is king indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please rise for prayers. And I invite you on this Christ the King celebration uh, to lift up those things of which you, uh, which you are thinking for and praying for uh, as we pray. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we pray for those uh, on this week as we are emphasizing at Concordia. We pray for those who are experiencing homelessness. We pray that those who seek to help would be encouraged. We pray that those who suffer might be strengthened and those vulnerable might know the hope that is found in the King. Lord, in your mercy. We pray this day for Donna Olson, a Concordia graduate who has been recently diagnosed with cancer. We pray for Donna and her family. We also pray this day for Miata Smith and her family. We pray for doctors and nurses who will make decisions in these next hours and days. And we pray for this family, the Smith family, as they walk with Miata during these hours. Lord, in your mercy. I lift up to you this day, Lord Jesus, uh, the prayers on the hearts of this people gathered.
And to your hands, Lord Jesus, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Continue our liturgy as printed. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Lord Jesus, who laid down your life so that we, those sinners, would be called saints. Therefore, with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and singing. Christ on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to all of them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's take a moment and exchange the peace of the Lord with one another, and then you're welcome to be seated for the distribution.
Thank you. 